my today's low or my yesterday's high, mm -hmm. I'm good. You know, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. Doing my best, bro. I, I, love, I love it when you're improving the game eh, with the background. And stuff. How do you do that? <laughs> Actually, it's really easy. It's one of the Zoom uh, uh, No. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Actually, you, you, can... you, you got a beautiful uh, background. Keep it. But if you want to just go to the view and you play with it, you can choose any background you like. Shalom everyone, welcome to my channel, Alpha Teva. On today's video, we have a special guest. We have Noan with us again for the third time. Hello, Noan. How are you? Good Hello, to you. I'm very good, I'm very good. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, and you. Apparently, we're going to talk about entities, so let's just yes. smudge a little bit. Yes. Because <laughs> I, I heard the, the entities can be uh, altered uh positively or negatively uh by sound and smell like they apparently they don't like sulfur they don't like sage they don't like stuff like that or garlic therefore the vampire story you know <laughs> what you, can <laughs> you can attract invoke entities <laughs> with some sound some invocations some design some smell or you can evoke if you want to push them with some sounds some you know smells and blah 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 so me i really love to evoke them I only want to invoke the sun in the center of my heart and try to connect directly to the source. And I avoid the middle man or the middle entities. So I use a lot of this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I uh, see you get a really, a, a real experience with that. Uh, dude, since I'm a kid, bro, I've been uh, seeing stuff, hearing stuff. It's been like nonstop. My mom was really heavily involved in researching reading writing about entities life extraterrestrial psychology name it we had like a library like books statues everything so the entities they need they need a key to access your kingdom or your field you know mm -hmm. so there, there was they had a lot of keys to enter my house it was just filled with icons and books and stuff in um, order to pull them over um they, they need your authorization, uh -huh. consciously or not. They, they need okay. some kind of access. Is it like a physical thing, an amulet or whatever, something that the, someone that is dealing with entities that gave you a gift. So they're attached to this mm -hmm. uh, or movies you're watching or music you're listening or stuff you're doing. So sometimes purposely or not, consciously or not, we're doing stuff because it's, it's in the culture. Is, 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 is everybody's doing it. Well, maybe there's a reason sometimes why everybody's doing it because they infiltrate the entertainment entering the mind. They, they, they infiltrate many, many aspects of our daily life. So we end up finally doing maybe some invocations without even knowing, knowing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So it's really tricky. We need to be uh, aware of what we're doing, what we're listening, what we're thinking, who we surround ourselves with, our lifestyle and stuff like that. Anyways. <laughs> Can you give me a few examples uh, for, uh, for entities' keys? Well, keys can be, like I said, like movies you're watching, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's, let's talk about that. You, you Icon, icons that you're wearing that are huh? attached to certain ideologies or mythologies or religions and who's behind those religions and who created those religions or who infiltrated these religions with time. Uh, so these entities... They, yeah, they need invitations and they really love also when you're filled with parasites in your gut, physical, biological parasites. And if you have holes in your aura, if you drink uh -huh. a lot of alcohol, you take a lot of cheap drugs and stuff like that, your magnetoelectric field is not really vibrant. You don't have this aura like just bouncing negativity, boom, like soap and dirty raw water, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they can more easily access you. And there's even this uh, psychiatrist 35 years of experience, the interview I sent you, uh, this guy, was like a two hour long interview, he's talking about it. Some of yes. his patients with uh, schizophrenia, they yeah. used to call it possession back in the days. Now there's a scientific term for it. And the official narrative saying that uh, they have an imbalance, chemical imbalance in the brain, therefore you need medication, blah, blah, blah. That's bullshit. And mm -hmm. I, I've been saying it forever. Now you have this guy, not, not that I'm an all-knowing, like whatever, I'm just this investigator and I don't know shit, 
been investigating it all my life, but I only scratched the surface, like Jordan Maxwell is saying about other topics. But yeah, he's like, his conclusion is like, no, the entities are not in them, they are outside of them. And he's giving a lot of uh, examples. Uh, and all, yeah, these entities, they really love to suck and feed off your energy. Therefore, if you're in fear, um, neg negative or anger and stuff like that, they, they really love or, or just like, they love to be invited in, in sex sessions. Therefore, Tentra, the last steps, uh, you invite entities to partake uh which i love tantra i love the the technology of it the mm -hmm. semen retention and this, there's a lot of beautiful stuff in it but there's most of the time there's always like a just like they just need like a drop of poison in the beautiful uh orange juice you know orange juice is pure but boom you just need an, a little bit of infiltration and they got you you know anyways so you me i try to avoid like as much as I can and stay as universal and as simple and as pure as possible and just connect with the elements, connect with the animals and the kids and the plants. <laughs> I try to avoid institution or institutions or corporate religions or stuff like that, you know, and try to stay as simple and organic as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like to talk to people like you, you know, we speculate uh, on the same things. And I wanted to ask you, uh, well, Actually, I have two questions right now. The first one is what made your mom? You, I can understand because after your mom started to get interest on this subject, you followed her as a kid. But I, I was curious, what made her, your mom start uh, investigating and uh, researching uh, entities and this whole family? Uh, two years before I was born, she had an NDE, a near death experience. Uh, she had a car accident. She went through the windshield of the car. How old died. was she? She was 19. Oh, she was really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and uh, in, in the trajectory of going through the windshield, she, she saw a hand. And uh, uh, later on, because she passed out and stuff, and she, she ends up in the hospital. And uh, she sees herself floating above, mm -hmm. and she hears the doctors and the nurse and everything they're saying, the stuff they're doing and taking, and oh my God, we're gonna lose her. And they're trying to reactivate her with the electro, you know, like mm -hmm. I don't know how to call it. My first language is French, so I don't have uh, the full spectrum of vocabulary. But um, anyway, so she she has this experience. Later on, she's sitting, uh, not sitting, but she's laying uh, in her bed at home few days or weeks later i don't know she's at her parents my grandfather and grandmother um and there's a an entity that come and sit she, the entity sat on the bed and she felt the bed going like you know she, she felt the bed going down on the side like whoa and the entity said there's no no worry it's not sorry the entity told my mom that no no your time is not it's not your time you come here for a mission that you have something really big you're going to accomplish and for her it was impossible for for her to have like a kid ever because she got diagnosed with you know you're infertile you're never going to have kids and then, and then out of a sudden i appear two years later so she loves to think that this voice was telling her oh you know the special thing you you came to bring this dude me i find i find it funny i'm like yeah whatever but who knows <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think we're all special. Um, yeah, it's really funny and interesting. But then really, uh, a few years later, you know, I'm five years old, and she meets she meet this guy who studied with the, the Jehovah Witnesses. Uh, so yes, yeah, so anyways, this guy studied with the Jehovah Witnesses back in the days, like, yeah, yeah, let's go back. Oh, man. And finally, they become Jehovah Witnesses. I'm six years old, oh, and then God. I'm forced to read the Bible, but I love it. It's fun. You start to read and then you get to these crazy stories of Genesis 6 with the giants filling the earth because the angels became, you know, they took flesh suits, became humans, and they wanted, they wanted to fuck the woman that they created. Excuse my French, but... And, and you have all the story that the... And I was always fascinated by that story, actually, the Genesis 6 story, which is half a page. And uh, later on, I discovered the Book of Enoch. And then, ah, then everything makes sense because you have all the conversations that these entities had. You have their names, uh, the, the struggles they went through, the relationship they had uh, with Enoch, which was the representative uh, of the, the gods or God. Anyway, it's really fascinating. If there's one book you should read, start with Genesis 6 
and then go to the Book of Enoch. Beautiful, beautiful story. Being true yeah. or not, I don't know. But we're going to talk. We're going to talk a little bit about Enoch. I do want you to put some information for the audience. But before we go into Enoch, I would like you, uh, uh, Noan, please, if you can put some information for the audience that they're not familiar with, uh, with the subject of entities. Let's try to put some basic information about entities. What are they? Are they angels? Are they demons? Are they aliens? Trying to understand for your opinion, of course, you know, nobody really knows, but what do you think? Brother, I have no clue. Uh -huh. No fucking clue. Excuse my uh -huh. French again. That's, That's my first language, so I'm allowed. We are okay with that. <laughs> I've been investigating so much and I had many encounters, many experiences. There's a book that this guy, Joshua, Cushion or something. Sorry, Joshua, I forgot your name. Damn. He wrote a few books, and one of them is about the, all the similitude, all the similarities um, through history. If you if you encounter like uh, entities, or you've been kidnapped by mermaids, or fairies, or gnomes, or right now like the the famous uh, uh, story is like the alien abductions or uh, demon possessions. Mm -hmm. And he's like, listen, if you see an orb in the sky, it's an alien. If you see an orb in the forest, it's a fairy. If you see an orb in your closet, it's a ghost. If you see a, the same orb in the ocean, oh, it, it's a mermaid. So it's always the same orb, which I saw a few years ago, by the way. I saw, I saw one orb appearing and disappearing, like the size of the moon, but not so high, like maybe like, I don't know, like 100 feet high. That's, that could be a lot, another conversation. But okay. Uh, so I, I have no clue. They're really good at, you know, disguising rebranding themselves but that, going back to that book from this guy joshua i can i can find it and you can put it in the in the show notes maybe if you want Please. um they always give you some kind of food in the these abductions and time also like it's just like three minutes is like three days or three days like three minutes some people escape or get released from these abductions and in the stories of old metal, old, old stories, old newspapers, they come back and the village is not there anymore or it's all new people because everybody died and he's still young, but it's new people. And, you know, he's the grandfather of this dude that was not there when he got abducted or it's like three minutes. Or it's, so time alters. And also, if you accept their food in some of these stories, you get trapped into their dimension and your body enters into a coma. Uh, all, all these kinds of stories. So I don't know. It's, it's all fantasy. It's all, you know, it's, it's beautiful oh, stories. Yeah. My experiences have many. I could write a book about it, but I, I don't know if I'm going to do it because most experiences were negative, by the way. Uh, for, I don't know. The, the, the tricksters, they, they love to scare kids, right? So they, I had a lot of these uh, exper experiences when I was a kid, as a teenager also. And then my adult, adult life's a little bit less. But those that I had a few years ago uh, were really, really intense. Uh, yeah, no, I saw like many, many things and I heard stuff. I got touched. Uh, one entity tried to kill me once. I was driving. It was snowing in Canada and it was pulling on my arm so I could go in the ditch and, and kill myself on the highway with ice. The radio was changing by itself. Just before that, the TV was changing by itself and the rot railer, weather, which was my friend, my friend's dog, my friend, that was my friend, this dog, I love this dog, was suddenly he's just like in my face barking because the entities are passing through me. And they, they are, they are in, they're in a fucking lineup arguing, no, I was here first, like kids, no, I'm second, I'm going. Blah, blah. And then they were just trying my to do body. what? Trying to kill you? Just, trying... just, just, no, no, just passing through my body. Playing with you. To feel the biological uh, sensation, I guess. Experience. Like, yeah, yeah. And man, a few times, like, that time was I was yes sometimes I was high on this time was on uh, LSD and then when you you know they say never look in the mirror and then I look at myself in the mirror that night and my face became the face of a what's the name of the the, the Satan the figure of Bohemet bah Bahomet uh, Baphomet yeah the, with the goth Baphomet right yeah. yeah and and I saw it again not so long ago in the kind of an ayahuasca journey which was more oh like a God. mix of mushroom and MDMA. Oh. In the oh same, God. similar, not the same, the same uh, face, but similar with horns, like goat. Anyways, just before that, I encountered nice entities and I, and I salute them. It's like, okay, cool. Because I'm always suspicious about 
if there is good entities out there, I love to believe so. I'm not convinced hundred percent. And I, sometimes I'm like, well, maybe it's just they're playing the good guys and the bad guys they just want us to be entrapped in this 3D and recycle our souls when we die in this trap of just zapping your memory and just looping you back because they feed off this energy. And we can talk about many, many things, the Qatars, the, the book of Nagamadis, how they describe the Demiurge, the creator of this world, uh, which is Genesis, but with more details. Um, yeah, we can, we, I can go on and on, man. I don't even know where to start, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I try to guide you on this. Uh... Yeah, please. <laughs> on, on this conversation i do my best i can't promise anything um so i would like to know um so we, we we've been trying not not only me you and the rest of the people that in, been investigating this uh, subject for so many years me personally because i am uh, i'm israeli and i can i can read the uh, the holy language as been known as hebrew it was how do you oh wow that's beautiful amazing yeah so it was really easy for me to go to the Kabbalah book, Kabbalah books. There are yeah. so many Kabbalah books that talk about uh, what's behind a lot. And uh, if, if you go and search a little bit about the uh, 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 about Nimrud and the, the, yeah. the beginning of the Freemason, they've, they've been trusting a lot the Kabbalah books, learning about uh, angels uh, yeah. and, and the rest of that. And I was trying to research a little bit and what I found over there was amazing. What Kabbalah teach you is that there is no universe, is only a state of mind. I'm, I'm gonna break, break it down a little bit. I mean, what you see, the sun is a state of mind. The stars are a state of mind. It's just a state of mind. It's not really existing. The only thing that exists is our state of mind, earth, and the rest of it is here. Everything is here. There is seven worlds. We are the seven, which called earth, and there's six worlds down to the earth and each wall come with the different creatures different entities and i found it amazing yeah and then i found out about um, um the the nazi the german uh, uh nazi with adolf hitler that they've been doing they actually been doing business with entities that oh. living down to earth of course well okay. I, physical I physical or not physical they, they there was occult activities of course and uh, hitler was just used as a puppet as and a puppet. Uh, yes of course and uh, he was entering into trance and uh, f and crying after most of his speech and he was afraid to go to bed because of the attacks from the demons and he was uh, highly medicated uh, so yeah. the real the real society led by some witches um, was uh, used by this faction, which, has, which I forgot the name. That's the mother and I calling the babies. Elizabeth. <laughs> Meneki. They're in the house. Come. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they were highly, highly, highly connected with... The, it was really, really occult what was going on and the ceremonies they were doing. And they found actually the places where they were doing the invocation to receive knowledge from these entities. But nothing changed. There is an... Uh, they call it meditation chamber in the UN in Washington, D.C., in the Vatican. And uh, these are places to summon entities to receive uh, information, technologies, whatever, in the secret space program, in the military. Hello, mm -hmm. Pepe. Mm -hmm. Where are yeah. the babies? Where are they? Uh, I'm on a call right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Of course, Hitler, yeah. And uh, they, they were going to, you know, Antarctica. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What do you know activities. about it? Do you have some information about it? Yes. About this traveling to Antarctica, going down with the elevator, going down the earth and meeting and have some, you know, doing some business with the entities over there. That, okay. There's many, many stories, even Admiral Byrd, which was a high uh, rank Navy, did an expedition. I think it's in the uh -huh. 50s. As yeah, it yeah, before, the American it, guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it he before or after the second yeah, one? He was, yeah, he was flying and he saw the Nazi flag and he knew that something is going on down there. Yeah, is Antarctica it? Antarctica is the only uh, continent, if it's a continent, depending on your cosmology, if you're a globalist and if you think you live on the Santa globe with the mm -hmm. two poles, 
That's one thing. And you see, it's supposed to be an island, Antarctica and the North Pole, right? Mm -hmm. But on the journal of Admiral Byrd, when he came back, he had a few ships with planes on it and stuff. And he came back because one of his ships got sink by a technology flying, a flying thing that, like, uh, using his word uh, that could go to the speed of sound or speed of light. Uh, and uh, they, they retracted, they got, they got scared. And there was uh, the end of the ex uh, you know, investigation or mission. And he wrote in his journal and we have access to it. Uh, I have screenshots of this, uh, I can say this to you if you want. Uh, saying that we don't know what's beyond Antarctica. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you saying here? I mean, yes, 50, 70, 70 maybe years ago, the English maybe was not the same 100%, but beyond means beyond. So just go around, dude. It's an island. But what's beyond? And, they, and then they talk about thousands and tens of thousands of miles of that just Antarctica, just like, whoa, 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 wait a second. This is not what they teach us in the universe cities in the official narrative. So it's either the earth is way bigger than they say it is, uh, Antarctica is way bigger than it is, or we don't live on a globe. I don't know where we are. Me, I don't, I don't have a dog <laughs> in the race. I'm not, I don't have books to sell. This is not my career. I'm an artist. I make music. I make visual art. It's inspired by all these conversations. But my first passion is trying to understand why we're here, where we're from, who are the entities, and what realm are we living in or on? Do we live on a sphere or in a sphere? And going back to your seven uh, levels, you know, you have seven planets, seven chakras. Seven worlds inside of the inside of Earth. Yeah, as above, Earth. so below. As above, uh -huh. so below. Uh -huh. Depending on your cosmology, we have the planets around the sun or the old cosmologies like Incas, Norway, na, na, na. even now, now there's people like um, uh, Krishna groups and Islam group and Christian groups going back to the old cosmology before uh, Copernicus and the name of that Pope, I forgot, that promoted that new model of the globe. And they go back and whatever model you, you, you're a fan of, mm -hmm. because for now, for me, they're only theories because I didn't see with my eyes. I cannot speak from experience. I can only speak from research and observe, observation. Mm -hmm. not like, it's not like the entities. I speak from experience. I know they exist. I don't believe they exist. It's not because I wrote, I, I read it in a book, I heard it in a story or in a movie, which I did, of course. And then I was like, I want to know, am I the only one? Of course. And then you have like so many people through the ages that has been through similar uh, process or encounters. So that I know from experience. But the earth, I don't know the shape. I didn't see it from, with my eyes. I don't have enough money to go that high and see it. Um, but they, in the old model of all the nations, they always depict like seven spheres, like uh, Russian dolls, spheres within spheres within spheres. And within each sphere, and if you believe in the, 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 that the, the, the earth goes around the sun, it's, it's the same. Spheres within spheres, and within each spheres, there is a planet going on there's something going on right mm -hmm. um and as above so below in, in like the more the, the flat model you also have like seven layers below seven mm -hmm. layers above and the further you go from the center pole aris the pole the whole of the center uh the further you go east west you know or left right mm -hmm. the less dense you become and there's old maps of, uh, I was not expecting to talk about this today, but old maps of Tibet, I think it's 200 years ago. I have also print screen on my uh, computer. I can send you. Uh, they depict outside of the ice ring, other continents. So wow. according to a lot of people, the entities are not over there on other planets, physical planets you can land on. And now, now they're using the puppet of alien mask, uh, Elon mm -hmm. Musk, sorry, mm -hmm. to promote, oh, we're gonna go on Mars and, mm -hmm billions of dollars of the Hollywood industry just over there. Well, I'm a martial artist. If I win, I just use my keys. I shake it over here. And while you look there, I punch you with the other hand, right? So they, they, NASA is spending $15 million a day. That's their budget. That's a lot of money for marketing and stuff. And I, I'm from the marketing world. I know what marketing is. So all these institutions has been placed to point in the wrong direction. So we all look there, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they use 
yeah, entertainment, entering the mind, the government, governing the mind, mint in Latin means mind, uh, the music industry, the religions, uh, name it, you know, just to guide us in the wrong direction while we should maybe look in the opposite way. Same thing, going back to the NDE, I'm looping it. Uh, sorry, I'd like diverge and go from left to right. There's so much to cover on this. It's really fascinating. Okay. Some people say that there was a lot of studies done when people see, they see the light, the tunnel, the white light. And apparently they attract, you feel the unconditional love and you don't want to go back. You know, ah, it feels so good. It's like shooting Aaron, which I never did, which I've lost one of my best friends a few weeks ago. Chris, I love you, man. Really? To... Back, back to Canada? No, 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 no. A guy, a friend from LA. He used to right. be a tour drummer, drummer for uh, Radiohead and stuff, but he had addictions and became friends. Actually in San Pancho a few years ago, Beautiful, so beautiful, man. All these conversations we had all the time. Chris, I love you, man. So anyways, he explained me like how, how the feeling and, and it's like when you go in deep meditation or breath retention mm -hmm. or when you smoke the DMT in the moment of ah, the release. So people in the NDE, they feel that. And uh, sometimes they encounter uh, entities, but we're going to go back to that. I was talking about going the other way. So they you are attracted to go there. There's like a vacuum apparently or, and then entity, entities come to seduce you. And then you see, actually let's talk about it. You see a figure that, you know. Uh, familiar figure. Familiar figure, either Family like a, or, yeah, like yes. a grandma. Yeah, or religious figure yeah, that, yeah, uh, yeah. according to your culture. But in some cases, not, not necessarily uh, your culture. You can be like a Buddhist and see like a Christ figure or something for some reason. Uh, all that to say that they want you to go this way. And apparently, I don't know, some people say that, no, make like 180 degree and do the other position, the other way and aim for the gold light, which would be the color of the light of God or, you know, the sun or the golden age and all these symbols that we have in our daily conversations or fantasy or mythologies. Uh, so the white light wouldn't be the place to go. So again, we've been tricked in this dimension to look this way. And even when we die, apparently, they're tricking us to go in the wrong direction again. To what? To zap your memory, loop your energy back and bounce you back and whatever, an animal or another human or wow. I don't know. Wow. Oh my God, this is, this is really crazy what you're talking about. Because what they taught us all the time is that, that, that we're dying. And this actually this. It's exactly like life. You born, you go to, to kindergarten, and then after kindergarten, you go to school, and then, or you go to university, you go to the army if you live in Israel, and then you go to work, and then you die. Especially yeah. in life, death, you die, your soul going out, you go through the life, then they're going to judge you, and then they decide you're going to hell, you're going, it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. So, I don't even know if they judge you. Maybe they just don't <laughs> give a shit, man. They just want your energy. They want to recycle the energy, go back in the material world, which creates energy because they needed to feed off the energy. And look at the work uh, of uh, Michael Tellinger, great, 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 great researcher, anthropologist, archaeologist, scientist in the South Africa. And he's making the parallel. And I also have like print screens of some of his uh, expose or talks, some slides of Bird, uh, bird eye view, you know, if you're on a plane and you look at all the old temples, all the pillars of, you know, Athena, for example, or all the pyramids, the way they're positioned, a big pyramid here, three smaller one here, or a temple here with like, like, a, like a river around, like in a circle shape. And then you open like a, a watch or computer or phone or whatever, and you look at the microchip and it's the same but one is really, really small. The other one is really, really big, made of granite, always built on ley lines, meaning the you know, rivers, underground rivers are crossing under. So the energy is already really high. In the Bible, they call it the Jacob's ladder, where mm -hmm. the angels are coming up and down or the stairway to heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, we can talk about the spine and anatomy. Yeah, I uh, would love to talk about that. <laughs> I will write yeah. it down right now. About the spine? Yeah, and stairways yeah. to heaven. Yeah. So anyway, so they build the sacred architecture uh, on top of um, based on sacred geometry to amplify what's already really powerful and present. Either it's a dome or pyramid shape, 
or they put like an obelisk or whatever they decide to put. And then they bring humans sometimes specifically there there's some like rituals or ceremonies when some stars are aligned or planets are aligned where the energy is way higher and then you bring them to invoke sing or go around the mecca for 24 7 for life which is also a vortex or even in cities you have like the empire state building just accumulating all the chaos the people and rah, whatever way they they, they manage to concentrate the energy and that's a conclusion of guys like michael tellinger which i love the conclusion because for me it resonates because it makes sense because i've been attacked by entities and I, they fed off my energy and i woke up with this blue beam like the sword of luke star star walker plugged into my butthole one night and they were sucking out my energy so if, if they can do it on a smaller scale to one human what if they put many humans doing one thing at the same time, singing, dancing, screaming, whatever it is with an intention, and then bowing all at the same time in the same direction, if it's a statue, an obelisk, or the, the dome, or whatever it is, shape, and then all the energy is like boom, through the seven chakras, and then boom, and then poof, like lasers, right? and then they go like, ah, now it's, it's, it's dinner time, it's, mm -hmm. we're feasting. So they, they, they're really like really good at managing to create rituals, religions, whatever it is, or having humans to give them offerings. Like uh, they always start with, but it's always alive most of the time. Like give me a little bean and then give me an orange on the altar. And then, oh, just kill a snake for me. And then I'll give you something in exchange, energy for energy. Then you know what? Kill a chicken. And it's everywhere, like in the voodoo and Santeria, in Mexico and uh, Santa Muerte. Uh, whatever you want to call it. In Indonesia, they have other names, but they all do the same. And eventually, okay, give me a cat or give me a black cat because there's more energy because it attracts more sun. Then give me a human baby and then give me a virgin. And then, oh, cut the throat when she's coming because you're touching, because there's something going on in the blood. Therefore, Easter, the eggs, that's what they were doing. It's, that's the origin of Easter, killing the virgin when she's coming, use the blood, put it on eggs as a symbol of fertility. And this is what we're celebrating now. We're painting with the kids. So like I'm saying, they're really good at manipulating with lies. Yes. And this is a key. Actually, if you're doing these things, you don't know. You think it's cool. It's fun. It's cute. The kids love it. But the root of that tradition is evil. Mm -hmm. But we don't know it. Well, it's cool. It's fun. But mm -hmm. they know it. Here's mm -hmm. a key. Now you do it. Ah, now I have access to you, motherfucker. I mm -hmm. tricked you. Just do your research. You have a brain. Dig, mm -hmm. investigate, and don't listen to me. And just do your own research. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my conclusion. I'm against all like those things, like Halloween, all these things, especially Halloween. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah anyways, <laughs> we, in Judaism, we don't have this shit. I'm sorry to call it this shit. You know, but, uh, it is we, shit. It is, course, but we do course, have sure. some. Some, of course, we do have some holidays. If you, you look at the, uh, the the stuff that we do over there, it's like, uh, what the fuck, oh my god! And they call us the Jewish people uh, that develop and the smart. Nah, no, I don't think so. Really crazy. Me personally, I'm not. I'm not religious. Anyway, we are walking here in a really thin line between religious to science, and I, I don't want anyone to think that uh, it's a religious uh, conversation. Is not. This is why no, I try no. not to call it a stall. But and I don't want to fall into this uh, argue if it's a stall or it's an energy. I don't really care right now how you how you're going to call it. It's not religious. We're just trying to figure out what's really going on after that. And after the energy or the soul, you call it whatever you want to call it. Disconnect from the body and start the, the roots. What's going on over there? Do you have any conclusion for that? Conclusions, no. Theories, a lot. Mm -hmm. For example, soul for me, I don't feel I have a soul. I feel I am a soul. Mm -hmm. And I, even when I was a kid, I was like, I don't want to, I want to be a spirit. My mom was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I never, I don't. It's here 10% of the time. You know, we have all the struggle and stuff, but the 10% is really good. The food is amazing. Sex is really good. Playing with the kids, the animals, swimming is really, really good. But then the system is made, you know, the struggle, the, the stress, the anxiety, the economy, all the, the shit we have to go through 
in our short period of time here is not necessarily pleasant all, all the time, you know? So I was trying to escape with yoga and martial arts and practices, meditation, whatever it was. Um, okay, so I feel, even in the Bible, they say that the, um, the souls that are sinning are going to die. And they compare animals to souls because one day uh, Satan, or it means the opponent, uh, there was some fire coming from the sky to kill all the, the sheep, I think it was, I don't remember what animal uh, that Job had and destroyed all of the animals. And then it said that all the souls died. I mean, wait a second. So the Bible said that the soul that is sinning will die. So anyways, for me, I like Purusha. Purusha is a word in Sanskrit. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if I remember correctly, it's more like a, the essence of your body, or you, you can call it chi in Asian tradition, or ki, or ka in Egyptian, or prana, uh, the essence of your body that push, pushes you to communicate through sound, symbolism, writings, or ideas, movement, that's animating us, that in the, the breath of life in the, in the Bible, when God or the gods are just like blowing in Adam's nose and to give him life, you know, mm -hmm. that essence what is it magnetism a combination of magnetism creating electricity it's a combination of all these because even prana just learned that apparently there's nothing necessarily in the air there's no food in the air it's the way you breathe it and the sound that it makes in your respiratory system that gives life to the heart and the nervous system so everything is sound everything is vibration even light is vibration, frequency, sound, the heart is radiating, electricity is vibrating, electricity goes down, you know, the lightning, but the heart goes eternally. We can calculate it with instruments, modern instruments up to, I think, five meters, but it doesn't mean it stopped at five meters. We just don't have the tools to, some, you know, so some scientists say, no, it goes forever, forever. That's why sometimes maybe you, you know that someone is going to call, you feel it, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know, she's in Africa, you're in New York, and boom, the phone is ringing. Are we connected? Some people say yes in the quantum. I'm not an expert, but it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. It is really interesting. And um, I, 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 would, uh, I wanted to ask you, um, at the beginning of the conversation, you told me that uh, you, you, you have some ways to stay away and avoid this evil energy if you yeah, remember of um of can you put some light on, on this topic yeah of course many many essential oils clean your aura with flowers or whatever roots you know frankincense whatever these are this is one thing smell sage palo santo uh intention first of all claim dominion back on your soul you're the king you're the queen of this vessel nobody owns you you're not property of anything of the government or entities or religion your parents no you're a free electron you're like a free being a free man a free woman on the land under the law of nature or the law of god but now they put everything under the maritime law which is another conversation where they create a corp oration at your birth linked to the birth certificate and uh and then you have a an account security number that we're calling back in the days, but now it's a social security number. They remove the word account. Anyways, so the, the corporation, corp is a dead entity. Uh, going, so anyways, so they entrap us in the physical world, but the entities behind pulling the strings, according to my conclusion, not just mine, a lot of people are getting to these conclusions. Um, in a day-to-day, -day, having like a, you know, daily practice, first of all, keep your house clean. <laughs> Keep your body clean, what you put in it, what you put on it. And some tribes in, in Amazon, they don't even have windows in their houses because they don't want the entities to come in. Wow. They don't even go in the wind wow. because wow. they say that the wind is pushing the entities in. <laughs> I agree with that. And, and especially at night. And some people say, no, they, the, the entities, no, they, they live in the water mostly. And at night they come out, they own the... They own the night, it's more dangerous. So they, they, some tribes are really connected with these things. They stay inside their house, no windows, they don't go out. Anyways, 
you can hear crazy shit also. My, my friends are living in Bali and sometimes they're like super afraid to go out. They think it's like dogs fighting and shit. there's no dogs outside. Anyways, it, 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 crazy stories. <laughs> so what I love to do, at least close the windows, close the curtains, and you can smudge, you can smudge the windows, you know, and with your hand or with a feather, do an intention of three times, close the portals, cover the mirrors. These are portals. You know, it's in the, all the mythologies and all the Disney movies and all that reflection of water. And then, oh, you know, Peter Pan will go in the other dimension or you touch a tree and there's also a vortex or you go in the mirror and boom, you switch. It's in, you know, it's in the fantasy. Well, is it fantasy or is it real? Mm -hmm. Because I've seen shit, man, on substances sometimes when you look in the mirror. It's not always funny. Sometimes it is, but <laughs> these apparently, are portals. Apparently Disney, Disney himself saw some shit in his life, man. Of course, apparently. man with Dali and all these monkeys, of course. So especially if you do like a ceremony, a ritual or whatever, you, you decide to take like a, a mushroom or whatever, set an intention, protect the space, even before making love, close the portals, cover the, wind, the, wind, the, the, the mirrors, close the windows, smudge it with your hand three times, set an intention, use big shakers or drums or the voice, smudge everywhere shake everywhere so the entities that are hiding whatever where because they're plasma beings you know which is a com combination of magnetism electricity and gas so like i said they can be altered by sound and stuff and smell so first open the windows smudge drum shake kick them out and don't be nice necessarily it's not like oh i'm suggesting no 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 no, no. i'm paying the rent here do you no get the fuck out of my house man it's not negotiable I'm not negotiable. I'm the king of this kingdom, and this is my, you know, place. Get and the, get fuck, the out. fuck out of it. <laughs> and then one, once it's done, close the window, and then you can smudge with other things. Like you, you can use Palo Santo at the end, like sage more in the beginning, Palo Santo at the end, just to change the air. So you clear the air, filter it. Okay, people, get the fuck out. Thank you very much. And then the air is neutral, and then you add whatever you want in it. You use like diffu diffuser for a specific essential oils can be sage or whatever it is, just make it your own flavor or scent and then start dancing, making love or doing your whatever you want to do, take the mushroom, but always create a safe container where only humans are invited. Because personally, I stay away from channelers, mediums or anything trying to connect and receive information from the middle man. I don't need the middle entities or middlemen pretending to be whoever they pretend to be. You don't know who's on the other line. It can be like someone imitating or pretending, oh, this is Ra. Oh, this is Jesus. Oh, this is this. This is that. While it's just another fucking pedophile offering you a candy with an agenda. Mm -hmm. So me, I stay away from that. I go inside the heart. I connect with the center, with breath, eyes bath. I have like a, you know, this is water, ice cold water here in my freezer instead of putting popsicle and stuff. Go in it, activate the heart, breath, martial art, movement, swimming, dancing, whatever your thing is. If yoga is not for you, fuck yoga, mm -hmm. which I love. Been doing it for 20 years. I'm not saying it uh, negatively, but if it's not your thing. It's not your thing. Whatever activity you have to bring this atom, the heart is in the middle, the green chakra, energy, green, same word, acronym. The earth, the, uh, the heart, same word, is in the middle earth is the green. In French, we say le coeur. In Espanol, el corazón. It's the core. It's le coeur. It's the core of your being is here, is the heart. It's the middle. As above, so below. Three, three, middle. So bring, you know, and then we can go into the tantra practices of bringing if we want to go back to the spine conversation where you activate the root chakra and you bring from the red and eventually to the green and then boom, you go in the purple and the stairway to heaven through the 33 vertebrae or the, well, we have actually 32 vertebrae and one atlas, which is holding the world. You know, atlas mm -hmm, holding mm -hmm. the world on his shoulder. Well, the atlas is here. That's the 33rd vertebrae. Mm -hmm. most probably never existed but anyways that's another conversation I don't, I don't have the answers but the symbology of connecting the theology the astrology and the anatomy with the astronomy 
33 levels of the Freemasons are G, Zeus, Jupiter, Zeus, Christ, Crystal, Corona. Huh? We hear a lot about Corona these days. Was put to death on a cross in the place of Golgotha in Aramean language. Translated means the place of the skull. And uh, he had 12 disc apples. Uh, an apple shape is the shape of the atom. So he had 12 disc apple, mm -hmm. disc apples. Connect, so we have 12 cranial nerves connected into the pineal gland, right? Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. Jesus was the son of God. He's the lamp of the world. He's the sacrificial lamb. If you sacrifice something, there's fire. He's the anointed one. If you put like oil, like the Egyptians were doing, you know, as a symbol on the head of someone, okay, I'm baptizing you with crocodile uh, uh, fat or and then later on like olive oil you know but they use it also to light lamps it was a symbol of okay i'm baptizing you in this oil because you're going to become enlightened anyway so jesus all these symbols are there to to remind us so i love the bible let's say i'm not saying anything against it it's just the way that we uh, understand it or the way that the church or the middleman again or the priesthood of babylon uh, they, they, they place themselves between you and the source. And then mm -hmm. you have to go through them mm -hmm. to get wherever you want to go. Fuck Not that. only that, they changed some facts. Yeah. They got involved into the book and they changed. I can give you an, a crazy example for that. Our holidays, we have a different new year. Yeah. Just like the, the Buddhism, they have their own calendar, like the Maya, they have their own calendar. We have our own calendar. It's called the Hebrew calendar. Yeah, and we have yeah. our new year. They yeah, yeah, switch, yeah. They switch between between two of those holidays. Now we're celebrating something else. If you know what I mean, uh -huh. Passover. Passover is the, the the new year of the Judaism, but we celebrate the new year in, instead of Passover as the mm. new year. So yeah, it's not yeah. that they're not that they only got involved into the book and changed some facts over there. They changed the holidays. Yeah, and the important days for Judaism. So this yeah, is yeah, totally. Crazy. They they infiltrated everything. They 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 created like the the sun calendar and, and they removed like the the calendar based on the moon. And I'm not an expert mm -hmm. at that, but I have some friends that are like Mayan cosmologists and stuff, and they explained mm -hmm. to me that the the real calendars they have the same amount of days in each month, and there's 13 months which are equal. And now with the Gregorian calendar, you know, in July with that. Julius Caesar that wanted his month and August is Augustus, whatever his name was, Caesar. They always like a, it's an ego trip. They added stuff, they played with it. There's this 28 days here, 31 here. And then sometimes you have like this year, which, oh, we're going to add a few days here too. So they changed also, okay, that could be a long conversation, but that's one thing more closer to us. It's like me, I'm giving you like a, a ruler, which is, uh, let's say, one feet divided by 12 inches. Mm -hmm. Within 12 inches, you have, you can divide it by 64 and 32, then, you know, divided by two and two and two. Boom. It's always equal. But that's, that's the real calendar that the Jewish and the Mayans and the Asians have been using for thousands of years. And now a few hundred years ago, no, they give you like a ruler with like a shorter inch here, a longer inch here, a smaller inch here, a small, and none of them are equal. And it's like, okay, try, try to build something with that now. Have fun. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. <laughs> yeah. And my question is why? Yeah. What are you trying to avoid? Why, why are you trying to change the, the, the history and the time and fact? What are you trying to get here? And this, this makes me very suspicious about what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember myself as a kid celebrating, just for the example, Passover. We used to celebrate Passover by the end of April. And now mm -hmm. we celebrate Passover in March. What happened? What changed? Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. Same, right? But the president the, the, something changed. <laughs> and I don't know what. And the Passover is the 14th of uh, month of Nissan, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, all, my, my, okay. Right. my parents are celebrating it also uh, as Jehovah Witnesses. Mm -hmm. They are celebrating it for at least the, the Easter or the Passover where they, they pass the, the, the bread representing the flesh of Jesus and the, the wine. And only the anointed one who has you know, they, they want to go live in heaven with God to become the rulers and the government of God in their belief system. Anyways, they celebrate 
this the same day as you guys? Yeah, life after death, entities, all the theories and stuff, because I've been fascinating about these subjects and Mikael also. So stay tuned. It's not posted yet because we didn't finish the interview. We're just in between and uh, to be continued. Are you on Instagram also or just on YouTube? Soon. No, just uh, YouTube and Facebook. Okay, beautiful. To be continued. Love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. So uh, let's continue. I would like to continue with the, with with all the e Egyptian uh, tradition uh, goddess, and uh, if it, even if you go on the um, Freemason Bible and you're gonna look at the last pages of the uh, of of this book, you're gonna find the Egyptian uh, goddess over there. You're going to see Ra, and you're going to see all the rest of the, the, the goddess. And every, everything is started there. These pyramids, are they uh, uh, used for communication with entities? Oh, boy. Okay, that's a big question. There's many, <laughs> many questions in, in this. And again, I'm not a specialist. I'm not an expert. I'm just yeah, a passionate. For your own. Yeah, for your own. I'm, a, I'm a passionate uh, esoteric, exoteric anthropologist researcher. Um, Listen, there's a book by Alexander Hislop, if I pronounce it correctly, that's been banned uh, in the beginning of the 19-something. Uh, it's been censored by the Vatican because it was revealing way too much stuff. Um, and it was doing the comparison. It was called The Two Babylons. Mm -hmm. Fascinating book. That's the only book, actually, that the Jehovah Witnesses were allowed to read outside of what their... Uh, so-called inspired uh whatever they call themselves like the how do they call themselves the college central in french i don't know how to say that in english anyways because they they they, they, they pretend that they receive like the holy spirit the knowledge of god and then that they wrote their their little articles and books as glasses to understand the bible and yeah, whatever okay so the two babylons they doing the comparison with the, the new Babylon, which is the modern Babylon, the, the Christianity, and all the symbolism they're using and the rituals they're having and the clothes they have and their belief system with the first Babylon, which would have been the first empire. Okay, so right after the flood, according to this book, Closer, giving like a light, anyways, that's another conversation. And moon appeared, uh, therefore adding five days to our year for shortening our lifespan to maybe 120 years if we're lucky before everybody was living around a thousand years according to old scriptures, whatever. That's another conversation. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. They trick us everywhere. We're using it. Yeah, it's good. No, no, it's not good. This is 666. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so Nimrod started to build a tower, mm -hmm. the Tower of Babel. Everybody knows about Babel. It was to defy God, the gods. And even in the Bible story, the, the guy took an arrow and was like, motherfuckers, I'm coming for you. <laughs> to defy God or authority or the gods. To go back to the heavens. Because if you look also, now as a new uh, theory that's really fascinating, look at the, mes the mesas, all the mountains that are flat. And on the side, it goes like this. And if you go on a plane and you look at it from above, it's a circle. And then if you look, it's, pit it's like petrified trunks of, of uh, trees that's been cut down. It's the same shape, but way bigger. And uh, it's fascinating. Look at uh, mezas or uh, giant trees. I also have like a presentation, a full presentation. Uh, we could talk about it one day. Uh, fascinating. So some say that in the war of the gods before the flood, therefore Book of Enoch and all the mythologies and pre-flood story or civilizations with more advanced technology and stuff like that because we think we're advanced no 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 no. look at the build anyways so many things we could talk about so they build they wanted to build this to go back to the heaven and go back to the gods or whatever is happening okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the gods at one point in the bible they say whoa, whoa 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 look at what our creation is doing now they are gathering they're building a tower and for sure they're going to succeed let's go down and uh, confuse their languages because apparently they were all talking the same language therefore they could you know have a construction project but if the architect cannot communicate or doesn't speak the same language as the workers anymore uh we stop the project and then that according to that story which i wasn't there i don't know if it's true 
Mm -hmm. They confuse the language, according to that story, and then people gathered, and uh, you know, oh, we speak the same language, all of them, and then then they they spread it. And that's why they left with all the same mythologies. Everybody in all nations, they have like a flood story. They have similar uh, mythologies and legends of giants, war of the gods, stuff like that. Different names, different dates, then there's the variations because after time, you know, it's, you know, the story can be altered a little bit. Mm -hmm. what, was the, what was the initial question? Because talking about Egypt, but before Egypt, because you have the seven empires as they say in the official books, but now I just, I just learned that there was a big, super big empire that 200 years ago, they erased from the official books of history, his story, whose story, the Tartaria Empire, the Tartaria, which, yeah. which we have buildings everywhere. So anyways, in the official narrative, we have seven empires. So it started with Egypt, and I don't know the order by heart, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if you know, but, uh, or maybe people can correct me in the, in the comments. But I know, you know, there's Egypt, but before Egypt, there's the first Babylon, Babylon the right. Babel, mm -hmm. that was the project didn't, but Babylon came back later on, mm -hmm. you know. Because he thought he was a reincarnation of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, which was the king of that Babylon, not the first Babylon, not Nimrod, which was a black dude, by the way, wearing mm -hmm. horns because he killed the bull with his own hands, apparently. Mm -hmm. And as a symbol of don't fuck with me, I'm walking around with my horns and I'm wearing a leopard suit, which I also killed with my own hands. Was he a giant? Some people speculate. Uh, therefore, the pharaohs started to adopt that costume also. And therefore, we have the ideology or the symbolism of the devil with the horns. Mm -hmm. It's all based on Nimrod, a real character. Wow, which is, interesting. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was hunting humans just as a sport, for fun. I'm opening the gates. You're a criminal, whatever. Or I don't like your face, or wife, whatever. Go, we give you like an hour advance or a day. Then me and my guys, we're going to go hunt you, motherfucker. Blah, blah. That was that kind of character. And so in this tower they had different levels and philosophies and beliefs and religions and um, and that dude married his mother which was the sacred uh whore and wow. the symbolism the symbolism of maria mary uh, holding a baby is not from christianity at all it's from that because at one point seth i think the name uh, one of the kid of noah according to that story mm -hmm. gathered his people to go after nimrod and kill the guy they cut him in pieces. They didn't have emails back in the days. So as a symbol, so and, the, and to the tribes around, they send like, hey, I'm sending a hand, sending the head. No, the head was sent to the, no. Yeah, the head was sent to the, the, the mother slash wife, uh, sacred whore. Uh, anyway, so every, all the nations around the big tribes, they received a piece of Nimrod, say, okay, enough. If you fuck things up like this guy, this is what's going to happen to you, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, and then she started this movement and reincarnation, really amplifying this belief like, oh, no, 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 he's not dead. He's still around, more powerful than ever. He's there as a spirit. Nah, nah, nah. And then she gave birth to a kid, like his kid, right? And then she brought the idea, if I remember correctly, that he, it was him back nah, 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 in the flesh kind of thing. So Egypt. Okay, I wasn't there. I don't know. I'm just trying to understand mm -hmm. putting the pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. There's people way more knowledgeable than me on this topic. You know, like, I don't know, Santos Bonacci, one of my teachers that lives right here in Puerto Morelos, by the way. Uh, Jordan Maxwell. I, I would love to, uh, to add his uh, social media information. Uh, does he have any YouTube channel or something like this? Yeah, Mr. Astro Theology, MR. Mm -hmm. We're going, to write it, we, we're going to write it down uh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. description for this video with all the information. Yeah, fascinating researcher. One, one of the most brilliant minds on this planet at the moment speaks around 20 languages, knows everything wow. about, was one of the best, is one of the best astrologists in the world. And then a few years ago, we switched uh, and adopted a new cosmology, mm -hmm. cosmology. And the astrology works even better on the ancient model which was before the Santa Globe, whatever. Uh, you know, root language, tantra, nutrition, go on this channel, it's just like crazy, the amount of information. And I had the chance finally to meet him in person a few months back after talking with him on Skype for like, I don't know, eight, 10 years. Because he, he was also raised at Juva Witnesses. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like the pyramids, 
for sure they were most probably i'd say for sure most probably they were not built after the flood um who built it when there's so many you know documentaries theories about it what was it used for my conclusion if i can uh, mention or say it is of course it was pre-flood and they were built on ley lines like i was saying before energy you know like uh, ports or energy like i don't know they created energy devices to maybe heal like healing chambers because there's always like big sarcophages which they never found any uh, corpse or mummies in it they found some in the smaller ones around but uh, some speculate that it was more like a place of you go and you lay in this granite sarcophages which are super huge by the way a friend of i managed to go under giza which mm -hmm. is forbidden to the tourists but they they knew or they paid the guard and at night they went and i saw pictures of her in one of these granite sarcophages and there's i think six of them meaning six people could lay in it and listen and it was it was huge she looked like a baby in a bath okay literally meaning that the people laying in these sarcophages were giants like i don't know if i go in scales we could have put maybe 10 girls like her in it wow okay yeah 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 she showed me on her phone she's a naturopath in canada actually i saw it last year i was doing a colonic with her with this uh, detox anyways uh fascinating so my conclusion and a few people also were talking and i hear a lot of people coming to these conclusions that it's either healing chambers to rejuvenate right i would love to sleep in a rejuvenation chamber Ooh. where my cells are just being aligned when i sleep and instead of waking up tired because i fight dragons in my dream i wake up by full power <laughs> um or and could be also a teleportation or a detransfiguration, a dematerialization and materialization device where you could switch more easily from a dimension to the flesh and then detransfigurate into other. Less dense height or call it whatever you want, or where you become an entity or invisible being, a plasma being, where you de-densify, de but you still have your essence your soul or spirit or pusha or car or chi or i don't know the you know what i mean mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. personality sense of humor memory you don't lose it you're not dead you just detransfigurate and then re amalgamate densify if, at, at your will or with the help of other people we don't know apparently there was some top some stuff on the top of the pyramids some people speculate it was a dome it's like a like, the globe kind of thing no it was just like another pointy thing we don't know what was there but all has been removed so they but they still emit the pyramids are still emitting the biggest pyramids uh, pyramid they found so far that i know of uh well three four years ago when i found out about it is in uh, uh, bosnia with dr sam the bosnia complex pyramid or something they call and uh, a friend of i went there i had a project with him back in the days uh gregor great musician went went there a music producer went there with you know specific microphones and stuff to calculate and record uh frequencies and the frequencies are coming out of the top of the pyramid and that's why you have this symbol in uh, even uh, las vegas there's the fake pyramid made of glass and they have like a light coming out well because it's egypt true is everywhere huh? everywhere egypt is everywhere yeah. Also on the Grammy, on the Oscar. I think oh, what is Oscar? It's coming from yeah. Egypt. It's, 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 a, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a god. It's a goddess. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. We're still in Egypt. We, yeah. we just transfer the power. It's just like, yeah, we're still in, under the same uh, mm -hmm. dominant uh, cabal hidden hand. But, anyways, yeah, these pyramids were probably used to detransfigurate, transfigurate, teleport, blah, blah, blah. And not only there's the signal is uh, getting out of the pyramid, but the further you go, the stronger the signal is. So imagine if we still had the device that was on the top. We don't know what was going on, but still something. And not only it's out, it's also coming in. So it's a two-way channel. So I don't know if the entities were using it to actually 
teleport or to transfigurate. But in the Bible, after the, the, the war of the gods or the flood, where the good gods apparently decided to get rid of the bad gods, which took flesh, had kids, the Nephilim, fallen ones, and they started to rule and spread violence and even started cannibalism and eating meat. Apparently, to, according to these stories, the first humans before the flood, nobody was eating meat. And some people even speculate that we're you know, not even eating at all. Because you can sun gaze, mm -hmm. you can be a liquidarian, you can be a fruitarian. If you eat some stuff, then you know, mm -hmm. meat is really further down the line because you want to eat the sun first, like the plant, do photosynthesis. If you eat an animal that ate the plant that ate the sun, where you're separating yourself further and further each time. But these guys were apparently giants and they love blood. They were cannibals. And the Canaanites later on that were worshiping Baal after the flood started mm -hmm. to reproduce what their ancestors were doing pre-flood. And that's why we have the word cannibal because it's the Canaanites worshiping Baal, eating flesh, blah, 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 cannibal. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. So nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Kind of above. Yeah. So Egyptians, man, I don't know, man. For me, it's all from Nimrod, the first Tower of Babel. And um, for sure, we're still in Egypt, which was matriarchal. The women were way more uh, predominant uh, politics. And just you had like a choose of a woman holding like the pharaoh, meaning I chose you. You're here because of me little dude i'm the one in charge <laughs> you know mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. slowly apparently i wasn't there again as i use a lot of the word apparently because these are from studies not from experienced knowledge it's more like you know it's not wisdom it's knowledge from reading and researching uh this is where they established the the priesthood like i was talking earlier to separate humans from the source disconnect them and have to go through you know priesthood and give money or give sacrifice and so on so i think they've been communicating with entities all the time it's nothing new under the sun uh been around forever it's hopefully eventually it's gonna stop that's what i'm trying to do but i kind of feel alone sometimes like evoking the bad guys you come to the light or you vanish forever and yeah i'm just five seven you know, like, <laughs> but by the way, uh, have you heard about the Israeli ex-military general saying that Israel has been doing business with the entities for so many years? Have you heard about it? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. He retired and is writing a book right now about his military service. And in in like in simple words, he doesn't give a damn about what's going on right now because he is an ex military and he wants to promote his book and he was, talk he was talking about it like freely on the news i will Beautiful. put i will put the information down below about this uh, i don't remember his name right now and one more thing please uh, yeah uh, it's crazy it's crazy yeah yeah and one more thing uh, that, like you know and probably the the rest of my audience already know i grew up in israel and in israel we have uh, one of nimrod castle is in uh, golan heights is one, of, one of who nimrod castle okay okay one of yeah. one of the biggest mm. and i was uh, visiting this uh, i was uh, fascinated fascinating about this place and visit this place so many times by myself walking there and exploring and you know hugging the stone the huge stones over there and feeling the energy there's so much evil and blood you can feel the evil and the blood over there but forget about it for a second just the stone Listen, I would, I would, I would put some pictures in the end of the of the uh, the, the, the YouTube the video, so the audience can see the size of the stones. Now we're talking 2,000 fucking 2,500 years ago. How mm. the hell could you move these stones? It's yeah. huge, and it's so heavy. We're talking about tons of each one of them. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, uh, even the, the the Tartaria, there's a lot of buildings. Even you know, up to this day, there's some in you know, California, uh, Cuba, Mexico, everywhere in Europe, of course, uh, Australia, uh, Istanbul, where, everywhere on the planet. Uh, they call it Phoenicians or um, 
Victorian or Gothic style, you know. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is all from Tartaria Empire that's been erased from history only 200 years ago. And if you look at these magnificent buildings, beautiful, solid, and the details and the size of, you know, the rough. We cannot even reproduce this today with our cheap, high-tech, advanced technology, machinery. Impossible. Impossible. It would, cost, it would cost way too much, and we don't have the expertise. And it, the, These buildings, but they're destroying a lot of them. You look mm. at old pictures of Paris, like 150 years ago, there's not just one Eiffel Tower. There's like many, many, many like antennas. And apparently some people say, we had free energy before. And mm -hmm. uh, they, Tesla. they discovered, yeah, before, they, they, because we discovered the, the oil, it was not good for the economy. So therefore we have to destroy this empire. We have to destroy free energy and boom, we have to sell the oil. And even the first car by Ford was made of hemp. Mm -hmm. There's no metal, no all metal, the... Right. The, mm -hmm. all the car was made of a plastic made mm -hmm. of hemp. fiberglass yeah the seats in the fabric made of hemp and was running with hemp mm -hmm. when it was not good for the economy so yeah the real evil in this world is the families that we know the 13 families including the famous Rothschild, Rockefeller, Dupont uh, blah 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 which in my opinion are only instruments of the hidden hand that for me is the entities and other dimensions mm -hmm. running the show through these family like this priest was depicting really nicely I'm not religious but he was giving an example of a baby in an incubator that's premature and you cannot touch him you know we have to control the oxygen and stuff so he's in a plastic vault whatever the name is and the mother or the doctor or the physicist you want to touch it you have to put the gloves that are attached to the dome thing and then you can go and manipulate and touch the baby blah, 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 and then you remove the gloves that are still attached to you know so reality would be this thing uh where we are the humanity like as the babies and the so-called uh official narrative is manipulated by the entities using the gloves which are the families the bloodlines that has packed a lot is for hundreds thousands of years meant for bloodline even all the uh, presidents of the united states they have a blood link uh, is it with the queen and she's related with mm -hmm. i don't know like the impaler or whatever like vladimir whatever all so blood related all, all blood, blood related, related. family so, I, I read about even about obama which is a black yeah. dude they, yeah. he has some blood connection with those uh, families it's amazing for me for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, even Trump, everybody. Anyways, crazy, crazy. So yeah, in my conclusion, there's entities running the 3D show right now. And, uh, but guys like us, asleep, I'm trying to wake myself up and saying, hey, we're asleep, like Neo on the Matrix, like what the heck, what the fuck, you know, something's going on. And enough just not talking or what people would think they're going to think I'm crazy. I don't care if they think I'm crazy. I love being out they, of the they box. They think I'm crazy already, <laughs> so I don't really care, you know. <laughs> they think I'm crazy. Okay. It's good. Beautiful. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Yesterday, I saw a, I saw a sign in one of the, the German protests or a big protest in Europe, Germany or uh, or. France, I don't really, I can't recall right now. And the sign was said, I'm going to fight for you until you wake up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fight for you until you wake up. That's and I want, I'm very curious. I know it's not related to our uh, uh, video podcast, but I'm really curious about it. What do you think about it? Is that the right attitude to fight for the rest of our brothers until they're going to wake up? Listen. If, they, if you have the energy, go for it. If you don't, don't think you're selfish. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a clown. I tried many, many years with music, with art exhibitions, with poetry and this and that. And yes, you reach a few hearts, but if you don't have a lot of money maybe to market your thing mm -hmm. or you're not in the right market, like a, I would have more success on the, on the East Coast, uh, on the West Coast and on the East Coast, for example. Anyways, do what you can, but first... And I, I'm not religious and I don't believe Jesus necessarily that existed as a real human. Maybe he did, whatever. But what he said or what the people that wrote these books 
made that character say when he said love and i know it uh, in french like by heart because i read the bible like six times you know but in french uh in english how would you translate that love others as you love yourself aime ton prochain comme toi même mm -hmm. meaning you know love other people yes as you love yourself so first love yourself mm -hmm. so first yeah if you have energy to go save people and da, 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 good but now think about your ass mm -hmm. your health your mental health physical health spiritual health and sexual health first mm -hmm. save your ass save and then save your family if they don't want to listen let them sink i'm sorry i don't have time to try to wake up my sleeping robots parents my dad is a priest in the jehovah witnesses satanic cult because they are satanists they don't know it but they are bought by zionists they are financed 100 unlimited funds by gp morgan Manhattan Trust and banks like that. Mm -hmm. the, the Titanic, right? With all the mm -hmm. big rulers in it. Huh? The Titanic was not an accident. It was staged like 9-11. Uh, like uh, whatever is going on right now, you know, where people put a mask. Because if we, if we say the word right now, we're going to be maybe censured. So there's a crown uh, virus, V-I-R-U-S -R apparently right now. Anyways, stage events. So they are creating these religions and my parents are, they fell in one of those. I, I tried, I gave them so many research, so many documents, so many books, so many evidence, uh, historical, archeological, many, many things. And sometimes even stuff that were like, hey, you believe in giants where look, they found skeletons and there's articles and this, they don't want to listen. No, mm -hmm. if, it, if it doesn't come from the, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society Incorporated, by the way, it comes from Satan, mm -hmm. meaning I work for Satan now. I'm like, no, I'm not even trying to convince you that this belief is false. I'm just giving you more evidence to, hey, we, we're relying on this. Mm -hmm. hey. And they were like, no, 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 no. So some people, they just don't want to hear. There's nothing you can do. Because, you know, since I left that religion for them, I'm dead because I decided to be killed at Armageddon, the end of the world and vanish forever and not live for eternity on earth under the dictatorship of their Jehovah God, which is the God of the Hebrew, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of the Bible and the Islam, same God. They have mm -hmm. the God of Abraham. So they believe in that God. Anyways, it's been infiltrated, infiltrated. I'm not against the message of love and all religions, of course, the family and the connection and the celebration, of course, but it's when they impose the dictatorship and stuff. So, that's an example of, you know, okay, now I need to swim. I can show you how to swim, which you had time to learn how to swim. Now the Titanic, if we go back to that, is sinking. I cannot swim for you. You mm -hmm. had years to learn. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, 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 I'm throwing you like maybe something to float with. You don't want it. You don't I'm want sorry. It. If yeah. I'm trying to grab you, you're gonna, I'm going to sink with you. Yeah, it's amazing because I, I hear so many people that, you know, at the beginning of this pandemic, they were like all struggling and doing their best. And now they're like, oh, man, I, yeah. I, I don't yeah. care anymore. You know, just do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Maybe, you deserve, no. maybe you deserve to get the vaccine, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, just to correct you, I know, I know, you, I know you made a mistake and, uh, by accident. Uh, there's no pandemic. There's a pandemic. You just forgot yeah. one letter. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, what can we oh, do? It's, I we, we do what I, we can. I've done my best, you know. That's what I feel, and that's it. High level enter. Exactly, and if you enter into a room or a space, or you just walk on the street and you create, you emanate positivity and love, people feel it. Mm -hmm. So this is the only way I found that I can touch people sometimes. And yes, sometimes I found the energy to maybe do like a, a sound ceremony times I do or working on some animated art or the crypto art NFT just to, to touch people through whatever I'm, I'm creating. If you're a creator, do it. If you're a writer, do it. What if, if you're a business owner? Well, the food you're giving to your employees or to your family or it can be simple. Mm -hmm. you know, they say you want the whole world to be pink. Well, just paint the soil of your of your shoes and everywhere you go it will be pink <laughs> <laughs> oh 
uh, hopefully we can uh, do it again soon. This time it took, uh, took us uh, a month. By the way, I, I'm in Puerto Escondido right now in Mexico. We, we're both in Mexico. I'm in Puerto Escondido and no one is in, uh, is in Tulum, but uh, we managed a way to, to do Zoom. It's not, a, it's not a bad idea for, uh, yeah, for interviews. It's yeah, it's good. And uh, hopefully we can uh, meet again. I didn't know they had a bridge like this in Francisco uh, where you are in Mexico. <laughs> the Golden Bridge, man. <laughs> I have the Golden Bridge right here with Puerto Escondido with me. Yes. Hey, thank you so much, bro, to, uh, for this uh, initiative. It's beautiful. Thank you. We need more people to do this. I know the amount of work that it is. I was thinking of also uh, starting a podcast, but it, it's just not so many, so many things. And so thank you. I've been interviewed also by these two amazing girls from Montreal and French interviews about similar topics. Thank you so much. We need more people like that to, to shake things up and uh, interview open-minded people. And let's try to stay away from people that they, they think they have the truth. Like everything I said, question me. I'm even questioning myself, not pretending to have the answer. Maybe in two years, I'm going to have a total different view on certain things that I right. said. I'm right. trying you to evolve. Started. You started with something. You have your path. Now we're just developing from your path. Yeah. You're not hiding behind the walls and scared from yourself. Yeah, 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 totally. All right, well, so thank you. Same hit to you. It's so important to have people like you in this universe right now, giving this uh, crucial information. And uh, thank you for participating with this amazing project. And uh, hope to see you soon, brother. Yes, yes, yes. Come back to Tulum, brother. Love soon. you. <laughs> love you, man. Peace and love. I'm going to be leaving all the information of this video down below. Have a beautiful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.